Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode where I'm doing a lot of beginners, five to 10 minutes, uh, SOLIDWORKS, solid modeling. So I might do, I'll, I'll do another series using surface modeling, but at this stage, I'm going to do quick uh, models from uh, McMaster car, five to 10 minutes, oh. quicker or easier. As always, there's more than one way to do a cat, but this is uh, how I would approach doing a cat. So I'm going to do a 90 degree elbow connector uh, and then we'll see how it goes. All right. So new, yeah, we are doing a part. Okay. So first thing is go to sketch, sketch. It'll ask what plane I want to do. I'm going to pick front plane. It automatically assigns to normal. I'm going to pick an arc, center point, and oops. so 90 degrees. I'm going to come to smart dimension, dimension it. Uh, let's say it has 60 degrees. Okay. Okay, that's my first sketch. And the second sketch, I'm going to pick a sketch. Perpendicular, I'm going to go normal. I'm going to just do a circle. Let's say that one is 25. Let's say that's 25. Okay. And escape. I'm going to click that point and click that point. And I'm going to make it coincident so that it gets there. So I feel maybe I'm going to make it a little more 30. Obviously, this one is not to scale. If I need to, I can make it bigger or smaller. So 40, and then I come back, go to Feature, Sweep Boss Base. It's saying pick the circular profile. And second thing is the path. That's my path. Very simple. I got the solid model. And at this stage, you want to go to shell, click that pane, sorry, face and this face. And let's make it uh, three millimeters or maybe five millimeters and then see how thick the shell is. Yeah, I'm happy with that shell, five millimeters. So, let's click that, sketch, normal two. I'm going to click the center point and make that to that corner. Exit the sketch, feature, extrude. I'm going to click thin feature. I'm going to say five millimeters and extrusion is 10 millimeters. That's fine. I'm going to replicate that same over here. Click that. You can go sketch, sketch, normal two, drawing, click to that edge, feature, extrude, thin feature, five millimeters, happy days. So now we just need to put in a, a brace over here. I'm going to make a slightly bigger extrusion. I think the ring, just, um, I think I'm going to do is 15. And 15. Okay, so now let's see how I want to do a connector. Over here, I'm going to select the plane, front plane, sketch. I'm going to do that plane to that plane, and hmm, okay. So I'm just trying to think uh, what's the best way to do this one. Obviously, I haven't done this before. I'm just trying to think 
What's the best way to do? So I'm going to continue with the sketch. And I'm going to select that edge, go to convert entities, and we got a, a profile. Okay. And also, when you look at it, Oh, the, the sketch was not completely defined. Sketch, edit. So I'm going to go smart device 48.4. I'm going to say 48.5. And it needs another dimension 35. Okay. Okay, but that's perfectly fine. So at the moment, I'm going to come back, feature, extrude, click that sketch. I'm going to go mid plane and make it five millimeters. Hmm, doesn't like. There you have it. I think also another thing I wanted to say is, uh, yeah, that's fine. So there we have it. So I'm going to just uh, add a material, go to material, appearances, metal, stainless steel. Yeah. So it's got a little bit of polished look. And that, I hope you enjoyed it. And that concludes the episode. If needed, I could take off a little more material, but that's, you know how to do that one. So thank you again. So there's more five to 10 minutes video coming along. If you are new to the channel, subscribe, help me out. And till next time, thanks and bye.